Hi, it's Mike Thornton. And in this video, we're going to show you how to use the new Originals Foley Collection instrument to record great sounding, believable Foley. In this session, we have three audio tracks for the Foley and a stereo instrument track with an instance of Native Instruments Complete Control plugin, the output of which is bussed to the audio tracks. Over on the keyboard, you can see that we can now control all the instruments and you can see that as we select the menus on the keyboard, you can also see that the changes are mirrored on the plugin. As we select the different instruments in the plugin, you also get a preview of the sound of each of those instruments and you can see that selection on the keyboard screen as well as in the plugin. To get started, we're going to load the new Foley Collection Originals as a new instrument. Here you can see that all the parameters in the plugin are now loaded onto the keyboard. Also, you can see on the keyboard that we have this row of rotary encoders that can control different elements of the plugin. As you can see, the Foley Collection Originals instrument is an all-in-one Foley sampler. The plugin has two footstep decks each with their own pitch and level controls, as well as a crossfade to mix between them, which is controlled by the mod wheel on the keyboard. In addition, the two footstep decks each have a transient control knob, which is great for controlling the attack of the footsteps. The center section has a series of tabs covering convolution, EQ, compression, and then in the credit section, there's also an option to be able to change the velocity settings. Below that, there are two more decks to provide synchronized close rustle. As with the footstep decks, each deck has its own pitch and level controls. To help you hear the rustle, we're just gonna turn down the footsteps so that you can hear just the close. In this case, some jeans, as well as a belt buckle as an additional sound. Now that we've given you a bit of an overview of the plugin, we're going to use a clip from a documentary called Atlantic, which was produced by Daniel Lander, chronicling his travels through Africa in one year. In this tutorial, we're going to add the Foley to a couple of short clips. As you can see at this point in the documentary, Daniel is leaving a tent pitched on sand. So let's start by getting the right footsteps. We need to change the surface from concrete to sand. Now let's find the right footwear. This one's a bit too heavy. That's a better match for this character. We're going to turn down the belt buckle as it's a bit too loud. Then we can adjust the mix between the two sounds to get just the right balance. On the next page of the keyboard, the rotary encoders can now control the level of each of the two footwear decks, as well as controls for the feet transients. And with these, you can increase the attack on the footsteps. On the next page of the keyboard, we can control the EQ of the sound. See how when we touch the knob on the keyboard, the plugin automatically switches to the EQ section in the middle of the plugin. You can also have the rotary encoders assigned to the Q and the frequency. And there's also the option to control the reverb should you need it. And here you can adjust the velocity sensitivity curve again, should you need it. As you can see, there's complete integration for this native instruments, complete keyboard. And of course the level of control will vary from keyboard to keyboard. Once we found our sound, we can go ahead and record it onto a track. So we drop into record and then play our Foley footsteps. 
with the clothes rustle just like this. As you can see, we've now recorded our Foley as audio and we can drop that down onto one of our other Foley tracks and then edit it just as if we'd recorded the Foley on a real Foley stage. Alvaro is used to recording real Foley artists on his stage, which is why he prefers to have real audio clips instead of MIDI. But you can record just the MIDI and then be able to edit and move the MIDI notes to fix any sync issues if you prefer, like I did on our show and tell video back in 2014. Okay, there are a couple of footsteps that aren't quite right. So we can move the MIDI notes until the footsteps are bang in sync. Let's check again. Let's move down the timeline in this session and look at another section of the documentary. In this scene, two men and one woman are leaving a house. We're going to need some footsteps on concrete. So we'll move the mix control over so it's mainly on concrete with just a little bit of dirt. We can adjust the transients. And then let's increase the pitch for the woman. That's nice. So now we're ready to record the woman's footsteps. There we go. So we can move the woman's footsteps down onto one of the other Foley tracks. Next, we need to find a new sound for the man. Maybe some asphalt would work to give a different texture. We'll bring the pitch down a bit. And we're also going to turn down the clothes a bit too. And we'll change the shoes on the dirt. Maybe these outdoor boots. And let's move to the EQ just to finally tweak the sound. That's working nicely, so into record. Great. Let's move that down onto another Foley track. Now we need to record the sound for the third person. There we go. And into record again. And there you have it, a quick demonstration of how you can use the new Foley Collection Originals in an instance of the Native Instruments Complete Control plugin, so we can produce great sounding Foley quickly without needing a full Foley stage or to complement the use of a real Foley stage. To finish, let's play the mixed version of this demo to hear what we've been doing in context.
See you again soon.